me, Alicia, and today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. It is, uh, I, I feel like I'm so new to this beauty guru makeup world that I don't really know what to call this look. Soft glam. I've never done this look before. Literally, I just like tried to do it on camera. Like, here we go. Hopefully it turns out okay. And I actually ended up loving this more than my usual makeup. So it was really, really cool to just like kind of wing it. <laughs> Get it? Wing it. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then keep watching. Starting with a fresh face, we're going in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer because it's my favorite. It's super moisturizing and super hydrating, which is why I love it. Next, I'm taking some of my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and rubbing it into my skin to warm it up, then placing it on my face with my fingers and then blending it out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Fair and placing it under my eyes to brighten them and also putting it on my chin and forehead. Next, I'm taking my handy dandy beauty blender and I'm just dabbing it all out. If you couldn't tell, this is just kind of my blending method. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the middle shade and I'm placing it on my cheekbones to just give myself that nice contour that I'm looking for. Then I'm placing it on the rim of my forehead and oops, I guess I put too much. And I blended it out with a beauty blender because mistakes can be fixed, guys. Can't forget about that jawline, guys. You know I gotta make that on point. The next step is my favorite part, and that's baking. I'm taking some banana powder from Ben Nye, and I'm placing it underneath my eyes, and also on any other areas where I concealed. I'm also going to sweep it underneath my contour so that it looks really, really sharp. I let that sit on my face for about 10 minutes and then I take a powder brush and I just go ham, man. Just go crazy. Next, I'm taking this peachy blush from Too Faced and I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks. Moving on to brows, I'm taking my brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe and I'm applying it to my brows using a sweeping motion. Taking the concealer we used earlier, I'm just going to take a little bit on this concealer brush from Bare Minerals and I'm placing it underneath and around my eyebrows just to clean them up a bit and make them look on fleek. Then I'm taking my favorite lip moisturizer by First Aid Beauty and I'm applying it to my lips. Moving on to eyes, I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I'm putting it all over my eyelids. Next, I'm taking the Interstellar Eyeshadow Palette by Kat Von D and I'm going in with the color Killing Moon, packing it all over my lids. By the way, if you're wondering what brush I'm using on my eyelid, I'm using the brush that comes with the Naked Urban Decay palettes. I really don't have many eyeshadow brushes, so if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. Next, I'm taking a crease brush from IT Cosmetics I got from Ulta, and I'm going in with another eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. This is the Shade & Light Eye Contour Quad in Plum, and I'm going in with the defining color. So I'm just blending this eyeshadow into my crease with little circle motions. Dipping back into the Interstellar palette, I'm taking Dark Star and blending that into my crease just so I can smoke it out a bit. Next, I'm taking Gravitron and I'm highlighting my brow bone with it. 
Next, taking the Stardust by Vegas Nay Too Faced Palette, I'm using the strip and I'm placing it all over my lid just to give it a lot of shimmer and sparkle. For eyeliner, I'm using the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Ink Liner and I'm starting from the middle of my eye and then turning it into a wing. Perks of having long nails. Make a mistake with your eyeliner, you can fix it. Taking the color that the white X is on, which is 3AM, you're going to apply it underneath your lash line to smoke it out. Using the Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara by Bare Minerals, I'm placing that on my bottom lashes because it's just such a thin and petite brush for precision. It's just so much easier and I don't have to clean up anything. Next, I'm taking a pair of Lily Galishi lashes in cans and I'm using some duo white glue. I don't like any dark glue because honestly, I make too many mistakes to be using that. But yeah, and then I'm placing them on my lash line and then fixing them with this little tweezer thing that I got with some Ardell lashes from Sally's Beauty Supply. A technique I like to do is just place both my false and real lashes in between the tweezers and just squeeze them against my lash line. Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the footage of me applying this lip kit. It's Malibu by Kylie Cosmetics. If you want to see how I apply it, you can check out my last video. Then I'm taking Opal by Becca, my favorite highlighter, and I'm applying it all over my cheekbones and also on my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. For the final touch, I'm taking Too Faced Glamour Dust in Nude Beam and I'm applying it to my inner corners and just dusting it a little bit on my eyelids. And the final step is the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want me to make more makeup tutorials, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to my channel if you don't already. My social media, my social, social, yep. My social media links will be in the description below and they will also be at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time I post a video. Bye!